This is the Riverhawk Report, a recap of weekend action. And there was a good bit of action this past weekend. Basketball, hockey, indoor track and field, all in action. The results, as it always seems to be these days, mixed. But there were some impressive moments. We'll start with basketball. UMass Lowell women's basketball on the road ended a six-game losing streak with an explosive start to the second half and route to a 73-56 win over Stonehill. The Riverhawks got points on their first 12 possessions of the second half, outscoring Stonehill. Hill 26 to 6, and the game was never close again. Brianna Zidant led Riverhawks scoring with a career best 18 points. Bianca Simmons also hit for 18. Shanae Bushner threw an 11 and grabbed 11 rebounds. The Riverhawks battling for a playoff spot are now 7 and 14, 6 and 11 in the conference. They host Southern New Hampshire. That will be on Tuesday night. UMass Lowell men's basketball struggled at Stonehill, a 30-point loss, 86-56 the final. The team's four-game winning streak has come to an end. Akeem Williams led Riverhawks scoring with 18 points. Matt Welch added 11, but as a team, the Riverhawks only hit for 32.8% from the floor. UMass Lowell is now 14-7, 10-7 in the Northeast 10 Conference. They host Southern New Hampshire on Tuesday night. The UMass Lowell Hockey Riverhawks turned in another strong but frustrating performance. Strong in that the hockey club played a good, solid, relentless game on the road against one of the nation's best, the Terriers of Boston University. Frustrating in that the team ended up on the short end, a 3-1 final, the victim of some terrific goaltending. Considering we're playing on the road, a really good team that's on a roll, we had enough grade A glittering opportunities, but you have to give credit to their goaltender. He was phenomenal tonight, and he was really the difference. That is UMass Lowell Hockey head coach Blaze. McDonald. BU goaltender Kieran Milan made 30 saves in the game. It is the number of opportunities created, the 31 shots on goal, that is a key for the coach. I thought it was the most opportunities we created for ourselves in, in a game in a long, long time. And we, I thought we had a lot of fight continued on through the third period. And we just, uh, their, their goalie was just phenomenal. The Riverhawks' only goal came late in the third period on a power play, and with the goaltender pulled a six on three skating edge, it was David Valerani who found the back of the net. In the middle of the shoe, back to Rui to right point. They spread it out. BU wants to pack it in. Then to shoe. Side of the net, Edwards in front shot. Loose puck. Valerani shot. Score! Riverhawks are on the board. With a minute and 34 to go in the For the Riverhawks, the postseason is still a possibility, but the team needs to win some games. Next up, Northeastern. The Huskies visit the Songus Center on Friday night. UMass Lowell indoor track and field at the Gig and Gack Invitational at Yale University, and Evan White continues to impress. The sophomore sprinter won the 400 meters in a time of 48.96. And maybe there's something special about the 400. On the women's side of the ledger, Shannon Cunningham won the 400 in a time of 57.58. Eleven other Riverhawks turned in performances that were top among Division II, three athletes. Track and field will be at the Boston University St. Valentine's Day Invitational this weekend. And that's the Riverhawk Report.